Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and US President Joe Biden took a giant leap in broadening India-US partnership in critical areas including development of trusted and secure 5G and 6G telecom networks, working on cutting-edge technologies in the field of AI and semiconductors while deepening ties in high-performance computing and space. Hello and welcome to VAR India News Hour. There are a number of reasons why the US and India are deepening their technology partnership. First, the two countries have complementary strengths in the tech sector. The US is a leader in the development of new technologies, while India has a large and growing pool of skilled tech workers. By working together, the two countries can leverage their respective strengths to develop new technologies that benefit both countries. Second, the US and India are both facing a number of common challenges in the tech sector. These challenges include cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and quantum computing. By working together to address these challenges, the two countries can strengthen their own security and economic competitiveness. The momentous decision marks are a significant milestone for the Indian semiconductor industry and validates the country's dedication to becoming a global leader in advanced semiconductor manufacturing. The two countries have decided to work together to strengthen their critical mineral supply chains while India has joined the Mineral Security Partnership. In the area of advanced telecommunications, India and the US have launched public-private joint task forces on the development and deployment of open RAN systems and advanced telecoms research and development. They are also working together to launch open RAN deployments in both countries. Going forward, a deepening technology partnership between the United States and India is a sign of the strong and growing relationship between the two countries, from chips to AI. The visit resulted in a number of significant agreements and commitments that are expected to boost trade, investment and cooperation between the two countries. Let's look into today's headlines. Applied Materials to invest $400 million in India. A collaborative engineering hub will be built in India by the US-based semiconductor giant Applied Materials at a cost of $400 million over four years. After meeting Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the US, Applied Materials President and CEO Gary E. Dickerson made the announcement. The center will be designed to bring together applied engineers, leading global and domestic suppliers and top research and academic institutions, enabling them to collaborate in one location. ONDC to assist Indian e-commerce in reaching 500 million monthly users, according to Infosys Chairman Nandan Milkeni. ONDC to assist Indian e-commerce in reaching 500 million monthly users. According to Infosys Chairman Nandan Nilakani, e-commerce companies would require that open network for digital commerce ONDC if they want to increase the number of monthly transacting customers from the current 80 million to 500 million. He said that ONDC will develop a new category of online shoppers. People who previously had not considered e-commerce will certainly begin to do so. Microsoft releases Copilot for Azure Quantum with Quantum Roadmap. Microsoft's Quantum Supercomputer is prepared to be built. During the virtual conference, Azure Quantum Accelerating Scientific Discovery, Satya Nadella stated that the company's objective is to accelerate scientific discovery. For this, the company has revealed its roadmap for building one using the topological qubits. Additionally, the business has unveiled Azure Quantum Elements, which includes a co-pilot for utilizing AI and quantum on high-performance computing to speed up scientific discoveries. India to launch Made in India chips by December 2024. According to Ashwini Vaishna, the Indian Minister for Communications and IT, the first Made in India chip should be available by December 2024. There will be four to five manufacturing facilities built in the country 
Gujarat will receive a micron semiconductor assembly and test factory resulting in the creation of 15000 new community employment and around 5000 new direct jobs Meta to ban news on Facebook, Instagram in Canada. Canadians will no longer be allowed to share news on Meta's platform. This comes after the Canadian federal government passed a new law known as the Online News Act mandating digital forms pay domestic media organizations for their content. In a statement, Meta said, We have repeatedly shared that in order to comply with Bill C-18 passed in Parliament, Content from news outlets, including news publishers and broadcasters, will no longer be available to people accessing our platforms in Canada. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.